Well, the tariff battle uh, has been a major factor in the market uh, for a long time now. Uh, joining me now is the chief investment uh, officer for Efficient Advisors, Larry Shover. Larry, you know, Art just said once we get this resolved, the market is just going to go straight up to the moon. Do you share that opinion? You know, I, I can't agree with Art on that one. I agree on just about everything else he said. I mean, I think there's two choices here. If, if the deal goes sour, if something should happen where this goes back to, to square one, we definitely tank. If a deal is struck, even if it's a good deal, I, I think there's more headwinds than just uh, the U.S.-China trade tariffs and a lot more that we have to negotiate around. And I think that's exactly why the stock market is currently trading at a discount, where, where investors are getting paid to take risk as opposed to all these years of buying the stock market at a premium. So what, what, what exactly are you concerned about then? I mean, if, if they say, hey, we, we don't have these uh, joint ventures where the Chinese partner gets a majority and they can make it, making it easier to steal IP, we'll open up our markets, lower the tariffs, get rid of the, some of these regulations. I mean, what else do you want to see on top of that? Well, on top of that, I mean, we have to worry about the swelling fiscal deficits that we have, something that most people just aren't looking at. Global growth, I mean, we saw 3% in Europe last, at the beginning of last year, and that was just a complete mirage. And then we have the headwinds uh, of, of a slowing uh, economy in Europe. It's just not picking up, and not to mention China. I mean, Art mentioned that uh, Chinese equities, some of them are trading at 10 times multiples, big, big companies, but there's a reason why they are. Are they a value? Yeah, perhaps. I mean, relative value, but it doesn't mean I would invest there. I mean, I think there's a lot of things to iron out for us to go straight back to the moon. Where are you looking then under this uh, cloud uh, of question marks that you've just laid out for us? Where are you looking then to put money in? And because to your point, there are, uh, the, the markets are cheap. Many stocks are cheap, uh, you know, and it's just a matter of risk assessment. Yeah, no, great question, and this is the first time I probably ever said this, but um, you know, when you look at tech, when you look at banks, I mean, they're trading uh, at, at the cheapest level relative to the S&P that they have in probably 25, 30 years. Uh, so I'd rather place my bet there. I completely say diversified, but if I had to, like, take a bet, that's the one right now. We banks, energy, and technology, because all of them are trading very cheap to the S&P 500. All right, Larry, it's great talking to you. Uh, you're looking good, my Thank man. You. We'll see you again real soon. Thank you. And the markets uh, seem to be uh, back to focusing on fundamentals after this wild swing. But on the charts, there's a magic number that a lot of people are looking at. And really, big time money will come back. I've got a panel that has those numbers. We'll be right back.